Okay, so some of you already know that I've been saying yes to more trips lately. So I've been going out on little short trips pretty often. I'm planning a bigger trip later on um, next month in November. I'm gonna go to Hanoi. And, but for the short trips, I just wanted to show you guys how I pack, what I pack on a trip that is like about a couple days to like a week or so. So I just wanted to show you guys how I pack minimally so that I can use the same items over and over again, how to keep things sanitary and organized. Because I feel like a lot of times whenever I go on short trips, a lot of people that I'm with, they always overpack and they end up not using everything that they brought with them. So for me, I'd much rather underpack. This is what I pack and this is actually usually what I just use throughout the week while I'm at home. That's the mindset that I like to have. So if it's something that I use during the week while I'm at home, then I'll pack it with me. And for the most part, that's not that much stuff. So this is um, what I normally pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I'm leaving anything out or if I'm missing something, please let me know. I hope you guys learned something. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys um, the suitcase and what I pack in it, how I pack it, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. So this is a suitcase that I'm talking about. It's from a company called Away. They're based in New York. And this is actually the carry-on size. So it's perfect for a week to, oh, like a few days to a week, I would say. If you want to check out Away, the suitcase company, I'll have a link in the description box below. There's a ton of colors to choose from. I don't really carry that much stuff again, so this is perfect for me. I really, really like it because it's actually divided right down the center into two spots so it opens up and you can organize on both sides, not just one side. And the best part about this is that it locks and has its own charging port right here so you can charge your phone. And I keep spinning around because the wheels are amazing. They just keep going so you can actually walk with it vertically so you're saving space as you're walking you're not bumping into people by having it horizontal like this it's super strong so like if people stack it then i don't have to worry about it getting squished or all the stuff inside getting squished and then it's also super lightweight as well so the weight of this is basically just whatever i have inside but it's really lightweight so i can put it into the car easily now let's go through what's inside this bag so as you can see this is not a lot of room but I can actually store a lot in here just because there's so much organization. So I'm gonna start with this side, which is the most space. So usually what I do is I save the cloth bags that the shoes come in. This isn't actually from Reality Studio. This is from St. Agni, but I just found it. So, so I just put it in there. I just don't wanna get the rest of my stuff dirty. So I like to keep my shoes kind of separate. I wanna bring a pair of boots as well, ankle boots, just in case I go out. So obviously the stuff that you wear, like if you're gonna wear a thick coat and like heavy, heavy boots or like a crazy hat or whatever, I would just put that on immediately and then wear that onto the plane and then just save your suitcase for like the stuff that you can actually check. Okay, I'm gonna move this over and then I think right here, I wanna put some of my toiletries in here. So this bag is from Milk Makeup. They did a collaboration with Burton the snowboard company. So I'm just gonna put all my makeup in there and then some toiletry stuff down here, like contact solution and all that stuff. I actually have this little tin right here, which I keep samples because I save a lot of samples um, from different brands. But these are all ESOP samples. So there's like face washes, face masks, serums, toners, just a bunch of stuff, moisturizers. So these will come in handy. So I always save these and then take them with me on my trip. And then when I get there, I go like this, and I go into the bathroom and I just lay it out like that. And then I use everything. I don't know, there's something so like satisfying or gratifying about using products up. And I feel like whenever I use them samples, I feel the same way. So I always save these. So this is just a mesh bag full of undies and bras and whatnot. So usually whenever I go on a trip and I know that I have dirty laundry and I know that I won't be doing any laundry, I don't want my like dirty underwear to like contaminate everything else, so I always have a plastic bag that I can put the soiled laundry in, and then also a Ziploc bag just in case I need it, in case like something spills or whatever. I'll just have that just in case. And then I've been really into taking photos too, so I'm just gonna have some film right here, and then a little film camera. I might wanna wrap this up, actually give me one sec. Just like I always carry these in my car, but I always have like a little tote bag that if I'm going record shopping, I can just like fill it up with stuff or if I go to a store, then I can just fill it up with stuff. I don't normally carry around a purse um, unless like I'm just running errands, but if, when I go on vacation, I just don't carry a purse in general. 
So this would be nice just to carry all the stuff that I, like if I go shopping, then I'll carry all my stuff in there. So I'm just gonna roll it up a little bit and then stick my camera inside just to check it a little bit and then just stuff it right there. Moving on to this side. So this little thing is actually belted down, which is nice because you don't want your stuff to shift or fall out. So um, on the center thing right here, it's perfect for your computer. So if you have like an end case, then I would just pop your computer in there. I have this case from Poketto, which is like a portfolio case. You can put all your information right here, your business cards and all that stuff. And it's a faux leather, navy blue case. So I just have my computer in there. So I know that I'm gonna have to get work done. I know that I have to do stuff even when I'm on vacation. That's just freelance life really. So um, I always bring my computer everywhere with me. So I'm just gonna stuff it in right here. So once this is in, I'm just gonna lift it over here and then fill my clothes and all my other stuff in here. No matter where I go, even if it's like really cold, I always pack a swimsuit just in case. I don't know, Ian always says pack a swimsuit just in case, but this is from New Swim. It's like my favorite swimsuit brand. And it's just a very basic um, swimsuit line. But I really like it because I can actually wear this as underwear. Like I wear this as a bra mostly. I actually think I wear it more as a bra than I do a swimsuit. But together, it just looks very simple and I really like it. And don't forget to put these straps up. If I'm going on a flight, then I always have a thick jacket on. So I like to pack I don't know, a smaller jacket, sometimes a sweater. This is like a denim jacket from Stephen Allen that I really like. It's very versatile, you can dress it up or down. And it's just like an indigo jacket. I always like to bring a beret to whenever I'm traveling just because I don't like to wash my hair every day, especially when I'm traveling. So if it gets greasy or whatever, then I'll just hide it underneath a beret and then get the beret dry cleaned later on. Um, this one's from Borsalino. I used to work for a hat shop called Arth. Someone with a little jackalope right here. And I feel like burgundy really goes with navy, so I really like these two together. I also have a jumpsuit. I think jumpsuits are awesome. This is just a tank jumpsuit that you can wear with like a sweater or a jacket. Um, you can really dress it up or down. Kind of like a charcoal color. The material is really nice and lightweight. And this is from ASOS. I always have a pair of shorts, just in case. So I'm gonna bring a couple tees with me. This is a rayon one that if you iron it out or steam it out, it actually looks really nice and dressy. So I'm gonna bring that with me. A couple t-shirts, just plain striped t-shirts from Edith A. Miller and like a gray top. That's like my normal uniform. So I'm just gonna fold it over and stick it right here. And then I have a couple pairs of pants. Obviously you need some blue jeans. They're vintage Wranglers and they're a little bit flared, which I really like. I think it looks good with boots. And then I also need a pair of pants that aren't blue jeans. So these are Jesse Cam pants. They're just wide legged. I don't think they're for everyone, but they're just wide legged sailor pants. They look almost like little homie pants. They're, I, I love them so much. I've been wanting these for forever. And I finally got them. They're in like really heavy cotton canvas material. I just think they're so rad. Black goes with everything. I feel like my wardrobe in general, all the colors, tend to go together, so it makes it a lot easier for dressing, especially when you travel. That's why I don't really travel with a ton of stuff. I always underpack. I feel like all my stuff goes together, so I never seem to overpack. So I don't normally wear socks, but I always bring socks just in case because when you get blisters, it's a lot more comfortable if you wear socks, but at home, I don't normally wear socks every day. And then I always bring like a robe, like a full length robe. So when you're at home or when you're not out and about, then you can just lounge out in a robe. Um, and then I wear that to sleep too. <laughs> and this is one of the most important things that I feel like a lot of people tend to forget. I always bring a charger. Computer charger and your phone charger. I always bring these two. I'm gonna stick it right here and then flip this over and then lock everything in. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If there's anything that you guys want to see, let me know and then I'll do my best to make that video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.